Monaco, the land of the rich, land of the wealthy, and the land of the one of the most interesting F1 circuits ever, since it's barely changed since it was first raced at. You have to have ultimate focus during qualifying, which is, in my opinion, the best part of the Monaco Grand Prix is the qualifying and of any real real uh, race there because you have to push it 100% without crashing into the wall which are, is right by the track but obviously racing isn't the best I have already done a video on racing about Monaco but today I was thinking about how to tell you to avoid the carnage of Monaco so there will be a bit of a track guide for Monaco which you can use for any car in any game basically and I'm going to be doing it in a Formula One car from all the time since this week will be the Monaco Grand Prix. So let's jump into my theme of choice, Automobilista 2, and show you around how to not crash and destroy your car around Monaco. So here we are at the start finish straight. And what you will see here is if you go on the racing line here, it'll be quite hard to see these boards here. The 50 on the left, the board, the 50 board is always quite easy to see because of you having to cut roughly here to actually break because you want to break a bit like this so that's close so you want to try and break a bit before that because well especially in these cars because you have to really think about it and what Nico Rosberg said this was that there would used to be a bump here which is now smoothed out so it will be a bit easier but going uphill here, the you have to turn to the right here. So you have to always think about having to brake enough and then turn right. Because we have seen it multiple times in F1. That if you brake here and not brake enough, you will go into the wall. As Sergio Perez did, I think it was last year. But it's also a blind corner when going at high speed. So you have to focus on it. And then you want to touch the curb here. And then you want to go over here. In some games... You have the curb is a bit bigger if I recall correctly, but here it isn't. So try and use it as a reference, but not hit it. They're going up here. It's obviously trying to do it the high at high speed. And then here, when you come over this little final crest of at the top of the little hill, you want to start to break because of this long left hander. Which I, you can take a few lines, but what I do like to do is start wide and then just keep it in like here. Then maybe go wide a bit at like mid to exit and then at the exit be a rough quite far to the left. Because you want to optimize going turning to the right. So here also it's quite important to get as close to the wall as possible when going past Casino Square. Because after going over here, you're going to the right, you're turning right, and here, what you really need to remember is this, if we look at the circuit. Because right where my, the set of my car is pointing at, you have a bump, which is caused by, I think it was some roots from a tree, could be that one. So, you shouldn't really go over here. Since according to the F1 racers, your car will bottom out here. So you have to focus on that. So you want to not drive the line which I currently did. But you want to drive over here. So you want to avoid that a little bit. And then here in the F1 games or the ones I used to drive. There used to be like yellow sections here for you to see if where to break but here you have to really focus on braking at the correct point i don't know what references you have you have like that t that monitor in this game so you want to focus on braking because this corner is quite easy to lose the car because it's downhill and you're trying to brake and you don't want to brake too hard to lock the brakes up and you don't want to brake too lightly to crash into the wall and then when we turn right here, you come to the famous hairpin. 
And before we get to the hairpin, I want to say that you have to be far to the right here. And this is where I can talk to you about what setup adjustments I would do quite generally about this track. And what they are is that you have to really focus on keeping the car at high downforce. So you don't want it to bottom out, but you also want it to have high downforce since you're braking a lot. And if you can in your game, and if you can in your game, try and increase the steering ratio so you can so your tires turn more because that you really need in Monaco because this corner is very tricky so you can try to go very close to here because as you can see I was turning full radius and I already hit the wall so that's something you really need to focus on and then you want to try and get quickly to the left here so you can go on top of this corner like that and then you want to go by the wall and because this corner you really and this corner I mean you really want to nail the entry and the middle of the corner to perf to make the exit perfect since it's one of the longer straights on this track so what I've noticed is a good turning point is this section so right when you go by here you want to try and start to turn in and then try and hit the X curb like that, the apex and then go quickly through this section the tunnel and then here you have another tricky corner because you're coming here flat, then you're deep going downwards down the hill and breaking into one of the hardest, the second hardest corner into the in this on this track so you want to try and break in this car it's roughly around the 100 meter mark as i've tried it and then you're going down here and you wanna turn in and try and go as close as possible to the apex because you want to not cut over the sausage curb which is in the apex here and then after you have passed by that you want to turn quickly to the right to get the good exit through here then through here you want to also try and hit the apex here and then go quickly to the x uh, to the right of the corner then you want to try and go in the middle of these comes because we have seen that touching them can unsettle the car especially in the wet then here is a bit of a blind corner too but you want to try and break Find a good marker, brake, and then you want to go as Verstappen does, kiss this, but not too hard, and then try and turn over like that without this in the sausage curve. Then now we come to the last section, where you want to go quite far to the left, and then not turn in early, but quite late, so you get past the apex. Then here, you want to try and go on the throttle as quickly as possible, but not push the car quite far wide or hit the wall and then you want to just go as quick close as possible to that apex to then straighten out your exit so you can go as quick as possible past here so that was a lap around Monaco e when explaining everything now it's time for me to actually try and drive and do as quick of a lap as possible in this car
that was the quarter the lap. So what did you think about it? Comment down below. And once you're done there, please hit the like button and also subscribe. My next video, we will have to see what it's on. Might be another track guide. Depends on what you want. But until then, I've been Racy Legend. You've been my amazing face. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.